Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be talking on a really short discussion regarding Papo Limo who was released simultaneously in both Global and JP. Alright, so let's take a look at his role first as a character. So essentially right now what everyone is saying is Papo Limo is a DPS character who is also a turn hogger and he does have damage enabling as well as having true damage. Okay, so let's break down into his role specifically on the DPS part first. We'll be making comparison with other characters that fulfill the same role to just see where Papa Limo stands in this particular situation. Alright, let's take a look at DPS character. So most people believe that Papa Limo is flexible between single target and AoE target because his ice attack focuses more on single target whereas his fire attack focuses more on AoE HP attack. So it depends on the stance and the skill that you use, he has flexibility on both. While I kind of disagree on that part, but I'll get to that later, he also only has 30% on his BT and 35% on his high armor as far as HP damage cap up goes. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at his AoE HP attack. So his skill 1 does 6 AoE HP attack, his EX does 8, 8 AoE HP attack when he's in his fire stance, and his bravery attack does 6 AoE HP attack. So these three are the skill that actually does HP attack. Note that his EX and his bravery attack are both instant turn. And taking this into consideration, you want to make comparison with units that has strong AoE capabilities such as Struggle for example, who does 9 to 12 AoE, uh, AoE HP attack, or Renoa and Fusoya who is slightly better who does 9 AoE HP attack with HP damage cap, or even Reno and Celtius who does 11 HP attack. While you may argue that Papa Limo does have supportive capability when it comes to comparison with all these DPS characters, I'll argue back with you that Celtius is actually providing way more Aerobot, way more supportive capability than what Papa Limo can provide while dealing even higher damage himself. So in the AoE damage part department, I argue that Papalino is actually kind of weak. He's not even uh, comparable with most of the DPS AoE that we have right now. That's why I don't think that he's the first pick to come to mind when you're choosing an AoE DPS character, even with his supportive capability here. Alright, moving on into the single target HP department. His skill 2 does 12 single target HP attack. His EX does the same. His LD does 14 single target HP attack and his HP attack does 10 single target HP attack. Note that his EX, his LD and his HP attack are all instant turn attack. So making into comparison, we have Lightning who does 12 single target HP attack but does come with a 50% HP damage cap. We have Lock who has 60% single target HP attack who also has a HP damage cap. The only problem with Lock is that he doesn't have a consistent on this particular amount of HP attack. And then Zidane, who has 8 to 12 single target HP attack, but doesn't have any HP damage cap. And of course, Aranea, who doesn't also have any HP damage cap in, his, in her BT, but has a 50 single target HP attack. So, in terms of where he stands in this particular lineup, I would say he's slightly better than Zidane, arguably able to compete with Locke, but otherwise lose out to Lightning and Aranea in the single target HP attack department. So, in this particular situation, though, I may argue that. Papa Limo actually is very good as a single target character, I mean single target HP attack character because even though he does lose out to Lightning and RNA in terms of the amount of HP dump, he does provide a little bit more with his supportive enabling capability to the entire party. Also remember the fact that I'm not putting Astos in this comparison because let's be honest, we're not going to compare anyone with Astos at this point because Astos is just miles broken and he's very hard to compare because he doesn't have a HP damage cap. Okay now, so moving on from the DPS department, we're looking at his ena damage enable skill. So he's basically providing a brave gain or ignore defense to the entire party, depends on what stance you live in. And so the brave gain part is basically like a Sharoda or Ram, whereas the ignore defense part is basically like Locks BT effect. While he has a very nice uh, niche on all these particular characters, what these particular characters do, he does lose out in terms of his supportive capability as compared to Sharoda for example, because she has supercharge, or Ram who provides basically undead status to the entire party. Locke arguably not a support so I'm not going to put him into that consideration. However, Papa Limo does provide true damage as well which comes in the form of debuff which also carry paralysis effect. And this true damage is scalable with FR so we're looking like a wise BT effect like which also has a combination with Celtius paralysis since the paralysis is a gold frame debuff which lasts for 6 turns. 
which could come in handy. All right, with all the information we get, taking a look at what his entire kit does. So as an FR, I highly don't recommend his kit because even though it provides 80% on turn, it doesn't come with any HP damage cap up and it has 40% tied to using magic attack, which is not really, which kind of limits the team that you're going for. And he's actually really good for echo because as the pro there I wrote, he has instant turn echo, which I mentioned this a lot of time, it's easier for you to set up when you have FR echo that is instant turn and it's easier and faster for you to boost those damage as well. And he's a hybrid single target DPS support unit. I don't think his AOE DPS department is really good. So I just don't think you want to use him for that particular uh, stance. He has a damage enabling aura or a party wide ignore defense, depending on what stance you have, which is really nice. He has paralysis and scalable true damage with six turn on his BT debuff. So since it's a debuff, you also won't be afraid of it going away after your BT effect expired. He also has a very long BT duration, which is 10 turn, but it may not be as long as you expect it to be because Papa Limo does have a lot of instant turn skill. Looking at his cons though, he does, like I mentioned before, provide a very low AoE damage. So don't actually expect him to do good damage if you're dealing with more than two enemies. And he's he has a bit of everything, but also lack a bit of everything. You can say like he's a jack of all trade, but master of none. So in that case, if you have a specific unit that you want to fulfill a specific role, it's better for you to pick up that unit instead of trying to use properly mode to fulfill every single role. For example, if you're looking for more damage without the need of having to enable your entire party, might as well go for Weiss instead of being uh, using properly mode since Weiss has link attack to give you more damage boost. Or if you want to use, for example, a supportive unit that provides more damage enabled to your entire party, might as well just use Ram or Shaloda, who can also provide more in the supporting department. Yeah, anyway, he's also tied to Fire and Ice Elemental, so in the rare case of a stage where this Elemental are locked out, then Papa Lima will also be locked out. Alright, so in the end, for this banner, what do I think? I think it's a very high value banner for new player because it not only consists of Papalino which provides Shaloda, Ram, Lock, Wise BT effect and Paralysis which is a little bit like Celtius BT effect all in one package. So it's actually a really decent character with very very nice single target capability as well. So he's a very flexible unit that can slot into a very easy third row. And this banner also have Aris which is still one of the best support unit that we have in the game. So yeah, for new players, it's actually really nice to have them because you can put Papa Limo in replacement of Shaloda, uh, Ramlock or Wise, for example, to just gain all those effects. However, if you're a veteran, it's better for you to use those characters instead of Papa Limo since those characters provide a more deep dive of the particular role they are in. So Papa Limo is a little bit of everything, which is really good for new player but it's not really good for veterans who already have everything, yeah. That's about sum it up. Alright guys, so what do you guys think? Do you, are you guys pulling? For me personally, I'm probably gonna skip because I really want deals. And I was also thinking of going for Kadach, so that part might stinks a little bit in terms of my resources. And also the fact that there's only one multi tied to this banner means if you're gonna pity this, it's gonna be very very painful. So yeah, probably gonna skip this. Are you guys pulling? Did you guys pull? And let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys.